Alright, in that last video we went ahead and created our affiliate link and also went through the articles and went through how to set up your ClickBank account. So the one thing I want to do just to reiterate what I went over in that last um, video just to make sure you understand this concept is to create your affiliate link you need to have a registered account and you need to have your username ready to go <clears throat> and you're going to go to the promote product section and you're going to go to marketplace and then within marketplace you're either going to type in a keyword for the product you've decided to promote or you could just search by the categories again and any one of these products that you see that comes up whatever niche it happens to be in um, you know any one of these products that comes up in the top four or five um, top 10 any of the products that you see here that come up in Clickbank you know you would just click on create hop link and it would create that page that I showed you where you just type in you know your your nickname goes in and then you click on create and it's gonna go ahead and create that as a hop link so um, just wanted to you know reiterate that and make sure you understand that concept so I'm gonna just do it again for the product that I am promoting for this example and so went ahead and just clicked on um, surveys typed in surveys because we're doing a product about how to make money with the surveys and so I'm just gonna go here and do create hop link again and since I've already created one hop link it's automatically thinking that I want to use you know my same nickname so the link should automatically be in there and then I just click on create and then now you have your link ready to go so you can always you know just right click that and copy it so you have it ready to use and so just want to make sure that you understand that concept so what we're going to do next is go to a site called pinurl.com that's p-i-n-u-r-l.com -P pinurl.com p-i-n-u-r-l.com and you're going to um, go ahead and take your affiliate link that you got over here so this link right here and one thing I like to do before I do something like this is I like to open up a new tab and test out the affiliate link just to make sure it opens up the page that it should open up just to ensure that you have it uh, pasted correctly so um, that's very important because that's how you get paid so it's very very important that you check this out and this is indeed the product we are promoting and so wanted to um, you know just make sure that that was in fact the product that I was indeed promoting uh, one other thing I want to show you is that when you're using uh, Clickbank for example your affiliate link is going to show up right here where it says hop equals and that's another way you can track just to make sure that it is picking up your particular link so now that we know the link works um, we're gonna go right back over here to pin URL and um, this product is very good about keeping you on their page and so that's good because it'll encourage more sales and that's another reason I picked that product um, so we're back here on pinurl.com you can see how it's spelled there again and you're going to where it says enter a long URL this is where you're going to go ahead and um, just paste in that URL that you got from Clickbank and just click here where it says you know make pin URL now there are some optional things that you can do um, so one thing you might do is use the keyword so you might do something like surveys you could do a secret key or you could do a title um, a redirect method you could do direct or you could do a masked redirect that is an option as well and this kinda explains you know what this does um, so basically um, Masked is one of the best things that you can do. Um, so, um, you know, one of the best things you could do is do a masked URL. You don't want to do a stealth URL because that will eliminate your affiliate link, is what it's showing there. Um, so, you could also do direct or you could do masked. Um, so, whenever they click on the shorter link that's created here, uh, they would be redirected to the long URL, but the shorter URL would be stay in the browser's address bar, and so the user would not see the long URL um, that they're redirected to. So, then that way they couldn't steal your commission. So, you could do masked or you could do direct. And I would prefer doing masked personally. So, now that we're doing a masked URL, just go ahead and click on make pin URL. And it looks like, okay, it's already in use, so you could do, um, you know, survey money. That's an idea. 
so whether it's it's weight loss product you could do you know weight loss fat loss for idiots which is the name of the product if you were promoting the product that's just an example um, go ahead and input your name email username and password so the username you'd like to use in your password and then go ahead and just register and then once you are registered um, you'll just be able to log in and then you'll be logged in and then they will give you a short little uh, you know look and pin URL now this is a great tool I actually just started using it um, just yesterday with a new account so um, I'm very excited you know I just got somebody uh, told me about this great resource and so um, so there you see I just created my pin URL and notice how it says um, <clears throat> it says pin URL survey money um, notice how it says that right here and so there you have it and it tells you how many people have actually clicked clicked on it and it tells you like there's a here's a link that I have this is the first link that I set up it has a total of 32 hits and I just set that up um, today it has four hits and it tells me the last hit was about an hour and a half ago and so that is really a neat tool in that it tells you um, basically you know it gives you the data that you need um, you know in order to uh, track you know how many times your your links are being clicked so um, you can also go here and click on edit record and you could do um, you know the name of the product up here so in this case the product is make money taking surveys and so that's what I would call it up there and then I would just go ahead and click on save and exit now this is all how you use pin URL so now when you're ready to go you could use any of these URLs to um, basically you know you can use any of these URLs to um, you know to go about and um, you know promote this any of these URLs will all do the same thing for you so it's whichever one you think looks the best um, I wouldn't mind using one called survey money um, just for the fact that um, survey money dot pin URL um, that actually looks a little more cleaner to people since, since you have your keyword or you've got the one with it as a forward slash so I'm gonna go about and use this one right here so right next to it I'm just going to copy it and make sure it's copied so I'll right click it and I'm gonna open a new tab and we're gonna click on it and we're gonna see what it does you know as far as um, you know how it picks it up in the browser so you're gonna notice here we did a masked option so I'm gonna paste that in there and just verify that it went through and it did it did go through fine notice how it shows up here and notice how it shows up right there they don't know um, you know they really have no idea that they are on a Clickbank product until they go to checkout unless they already know the system and so there's you know really no chance that they're going to swipe your affiliate link and you're still going to end up getting credit you know for that referral so so that's a very good thing um, you know so keep that in mind so now um, that we've got that set up just make sure you know I would just copy one of these and save it or you could always use the Clickbank URLs that you created here I personally would like to use pin URL just for the fact and that's why I showed it to you is because it gives you the ability to um, you know mask your URL so people don't um, you know end up swiping your affiliate links you know through through um, so they don't swipe your affiliate links and also it helps it just look a little more professional up there in the address bar and so I like using pin URL for that sake and also because I can track and see how many visitors I'm getting and and that kind of information so um, so that is basically how you would set up pin URL um, there's we're gonna go to another video for showing you how to set up the website step by step for the system just because that's gonna take quite a bit more time and I wanted to really go deep with the pin URLs and make sure that you are you know actually using uh, pin URLs effectively because they can be very very good for your business and uh, notice how it already picked up the two clicks that I already did and it shows you know when the last hit was on those so it's pretty pretty neat and uh, definitely use pin URL for the system and we're gonna go on to the next step of this process